Hey guys, Brad M73 here. Welcome to Lawn Mowing Simulator from, let's see, Skyhook Games. Um, taking a look at it, um, I'm actually, I actually have a pre-release copy, um, though I believe this is the final, this is the release version, essentially. Um, I do have quite a bit of time with it, um, since I'm recording on Wednesday, and I've had it since Monday. Um, and I've, you can see here at the bottom right, I've, you know, got a company going already, but we're going to start off with a new company here, and uh, we're going to create a new career. So I'm going to uh, skip the tutorials because I think that would just be a waste of time. <clears throat> um, I did do a, I did do a video. I don't know, a couple months ago, on the demo version. So if you guys have already seen that, some of this video is going to seem similar to that, but then there's also going to be some changes. So um, let's see. I guess the first thing I need to do is name my company. And as I did in the um, demo, I'm going to name it Trimmin' Bush. Of course, I don't think we do anything with bushes. Um, company logo, I'm going to go with this logo here. And edit the player. I'm actually, let's see, Brad M73. That's because that's me, you know. Um, let's see, Avatar. Let's see. I want to be a man. Oh, no, that, that one's good. Uh, Avatar, I kind of want to look through some of the other ones. I think most of these avatars are in, I'm just going to go with this guy here. I think most of these, if not all of them, were present in the, um, the demo. Um, let's see, I'm fine with the hat. Logo placement, we're going to do front and back. I don't know why it's not showing up there. And then I'm going to pick kind of like a green color here for my uniform. I think I'm going to go with that one. So we'll hit enter to confirm. We're good to go there. Why is the logo not showing up front and back? Okay. Okay, there we go. Now, can I rotate my guy? Oh, I can. It's just very slow. Okay, so you can see the logo on the back of the shirt there. All right. Awesome. Um, Start company. Are you happy? I am always happy. What are you talking about? Okay, so starting off, <clears throat> excuse me, starting off, you have a like a headquarters and then three thousand dollars but nothing else you don't have any employees which you can hire employees later um, and you can also purchase multiple uh, tractors um, later on which is really cool so not only are you actively participating in the simulation of lawn mowing but you're also going to be building a company and that's one of the things that i really liked about this game so starting off, if you want to be really super cheap, you could start off with the, the Stiga um, Estate 2084H for £2,149. That would leave us with £851. However, I don't really like this tractor. I've actually used it. One of the things this has is it's got this, this bag on the back where all of your grass goes which is cool, you know, it's, just, it's fine, but it's a little bit of extra work because once it fills up, you actually have to drive off and you have to dump it off. Another disadvantage with this motor mower, sorry, is it only has a 33 inch wide cutting deck or 84 uh, centimeters. The Knight OFS1 though has a 44 inch wide uh, deck and it's a mulching mower, so you don't have the bags on the back, so there's no need to empty them. So even though this one is a bit more expensive, it's definitely worth starting out with. So we're going to accept that, and then we've got our first property here. We just have one property on our first day, but right now our goal is just to get up to 1,500 pounds or $1,500, if you want to say it. One of the things I think it's going to kind of upset uh, people is you cannot change the money like your money so you can't change it to US dollars you can't change it to euros however the developers have said well this is a game that's based in the UK the United Kingdom and they use pounds so I'm perfectly okay with that 
though I think it might cause some people to grumble a little bit. So we're going to start off with our first job here, the front cottage, uh, or the, or I'm sorry, front garden at the Old Nook Cottage. And we're just going to be doing a regular old cutaroo, and we're going to choose ourselves as an employee and our mower. And one thing that you do want to pay attention to is the cutting height, um, and, because that is always a factor in every job you do. Um, a lot of times when you first start up your mowers, the cutting height is not set. So a lot of times you will have to set that. So just uh, something to, <clears throat> to uh, be aware of. And I don't think we can, I don't think we can move around the map just yet. Um, eventually, once we start getting more jobs, you, you can actually kind of center on those jobs, though you can't manually just move around the map. But the map is beautifully rendered, um, and you can actually, like, uh, on this job here, so here's our cottage starting off. We've got this garden over here, but there's actually going to be another area that we can mow later on. And <clears throat> one thing that some people might not like is because you're actively essentially pursuing a business venture, you're going to be, you know, mowing these customers' lawns multiple times. So that might be a little bit repetitive for some people. I don't really find it an, an issue because, you know, if you were to contract with customers, you would be mowing their lawns multiple times. So, um, yeah, and if we, if we walk over right here, um, back here, this is an, another lawn, another part of the property that we will be mowing in a future episode so stay tuned for that um, and guys and gals do not forget to hit that subscribe button uh, if you want to be notified and um, you know when I put post new videos of this as well as um, a lot of the other games that I play I always appreciate that and if you like the game which I really like this game um, and there's some dog poop or maybe it's a snake I don't know so we just have to find three objects but, um, yeah, if you like the game, be sure to leave a like. Hit that like button. helps me out tremendously. And uh, my channel has been growing uh, quite a bit here lately. We just hit 80,000 subscribers, so I want to thank everybody uh, who subscribed already. You guys are absolutely awesome. Um, so where is the other? We've got one more thing that we need to find here. Sometimes they're a little tricky to find. Oh, there we go. All right. Ground check is complete. So you do get a little bonus, a uh, little money bonus for checking that out. Um, I have personally not found, or I, I've not never done it. Like, I've not ever not completed the ground check. So... I don't know what happens if you leave something out there and hit it with your mower. All right, so we're going to hold the X button. I am using an Xbox. This is a an old Xbox 360 wired controller, so I am using that. Um, one of the reasons why is I don't really like the, um, the mouse view. I've tried several different things. Um, I don't really like it um, because the invert seems opposite to what I'm used to. Um, also, let's see, let's throttle up here. I'm just going to go up full throttle. You're, you're basically limited to full throttle. So you can't actually control your speed. There's no cruise control or anything like that. So I'm going to be using my Xbox controller for the majority of this. Um, so, um, the cut height right now is 7 centimeters. I think we had to... Uh, range it between five and six centimeters so we're going to hit the down on the d-pad two times that's going to bring us down to five centimeters <clears throat> i'm going to hit the i think it's the b button it's going to lower my deck and then x to engage it now if you want you can play from a third person perspective being that this is an articulated tractor, it does get a, a bit confusing to to drive. So I like to go into first person and just angle down a little bit. And I try to keep the, the cut path in between that little uh, bracket down there that holds my mowing deck in place. 
and so we're just going to mow the lawn. Now, I am well versed in the art of mowing lawns. I grew up mowing my lawn as a kid. Um, it's something that I kind of miss um, about living in a in an actual house where I do have to mow the lawn. I love, you know, cutting the lawn and having that that smell of freshly cut grass. It's just amazing. But this is about as close as you're going to get without the smell of fresh, uh, freshly cut grass. They should uh, they should sell that like a little vial of it so you can, you know, rub some under your nose or something while you're playing to get that. Oh gosh, you don't want to hit the flowers because you do get penalized um, for hitting um, the flowers or hitting other obstacles. I'm going to try not to do that. We're going to come back. I'm going to do some more of the trim a little bit later. But just going on, you know, around the outside, I want to kind of take care. Oh, gosh. I don't want to hit anything. And I'm going to go nice and slow around the uh, the outside here. <clears throat> Another thing I really like about the mower is because it's articulated, um, the, unlike the, the other mower, the back end isn't really gonna come around and, and hit anything and cause, you know, damage or, or anything like that. So it's, it's very close to a, um, what is it, a zero steer? What they call them, a zero? I don't know. Now, another thing that you want to keep in mind while you're cutting grass is there's a graph over on the right. It's gonna show your speed in miles per hour, but you're gonna see this white arc. And it's constantly moving, you know, backwards and forwards, clockwise and counterclockwise. Basically, what that represents is how bogged down your mower is getting. So if you're going through patches of thicker grass, um, you're going to have more uh, grass clippings inside your mower. Now, once that hits that little red triangle down there at the bottom, it's, it's going to really start bogging down your mower, and it's going to cause damage to the blade as well as to the, uh, the, the engine. So you can repair that, and we'll take a look at that once we're finished with this. Um, but it's just something to keep in mind while you're cutting grass. One thing I'm going to have to find, I don't know if I'll do it in this video. I'll try to do it in this video um, if I remember to do it. Uh, but I'm going to have to whip out a and find the old picture of me cutting grass when I was a little kid. I was probably like six or seven years old and I was riding our, uh, it was an old Toro um, lawn mower, riding mower. And I'm like this little tiny kid sitting on top of it. Um, but from a really young age, my dad used to, um, he used to mow the grass and I would just sit on his lap. And so, you know, when I, when I was probably five or six years old, I was like, I want to try. And my dad let me try. And I started mowing the lawn probably seven, eight years old. And we had a big yard. I think our backyard was probably at least a half an acre, if not three quarters of an acre. So it was a pretty big yard. You know, it would take a good hour, hour and a half to fully mow. But some really great memories uh, mowing the lawn and <clears throat> now you're probably asking yourself hey why aren't you uh, mowing around the curve right there well it's, it's because I want my lines to be straight they don't have to be perfect but 
I want them to be relatively straight. Okay, so there you heard the the uh, sound change a little bit right there. Um, I do have the sound turned way down, so hopefully my voice is coming through without a problem. But uh, you heard the sound change there, and that's the mower bogging down with grass. Now on this first lawn, it's not really that big of a problem though you really can't go full out in like full throttle <clears throat> so you so that's where like I mentioned earlier on in the episode using the Xbox 360 controller I can control the throttle uh, with my index finger um, if you don't have a controller that you can plug into your computer, then it's gonna be a, an issue. Now, another thing, the game is all, also coming out for PlayStation and Xbox. I don't know the exact, uh, if it's coming out for the Xbox One X or whatever, or the PlayStation, PlayStation 5, or if it's gonna be available, excuse me, on the older consoles either. But for PC, you know, the console people, they won't have to really worry about that. Uh, it, the PC people, however, will need to worry about um, having a controller if they want to use one to have that ultra-precise um, you know, throttle control. Otherwise, it could potentially get a bit frustrating. Um, the game releases on August 10th. Uh, this video will go live on August 9th, about 9 o'clock in the morning, my time. And um, uh, 2021, August 10th, 2021. So if you're watching this game, or if you're watching this video, I'm sorry, the game will release uh, the very next day. And if you're watching on, on August 10th, um, then the game's probably already out. Um, they are going to be direct downloads uh, through Steam for PC and then the Xbox Store and the PlayStation Store for those consoles. Uh, the good thing is it's going to be $29.99, so it's not terribly expensive. Um, and the price is the same on both PC and console. So $29.99 for PC, $29.99 for console. I thought that was really good. Because a lot of times you'll see the console versions of games, and the, sometimes they'll be like ten or twenty dollars more, and um, but not in this case. So we're gonna go. We're gonna do the trim around this little island here. I'm just gonna go around. See, there you saw that um, that gauge go up into the red. We want to make sure that we keep it under that. Okay, we're going to go around the circle here. Now there are, um, if I hit uh, 
my pause button here, there is a recommended finish time of 26 minutes. Um, however, I don't think that there's any bonuses or penalties for not completing it within that time frame. Um, I've mowed a lot of lawns already, and I have not noticed um, any penalties or anything like that for not finishing on time. So, um, I don't know. I don't know if that's intended or not intended. I just don't know. Right, so let's kind of cut back through here. Probably could have come in a little bit tighter on that. Le oh gosh, I just bumped into something there. We might get a little penalty for that. Um, the penalties are not significant though, so it's not like you're going to be like out a ton of money for hitting that. And we'll get to see all the statistics and everything like that um, at the end of the episode. Now, one of the cool things is, is this game is pretty heavy on statistics. You're going to be able to see, like, you know, how much money each mower has made since you purchased it, um, how much grass you've mown, mowed, how, you know, how, mu how long or how much time I think you've been in operation. And we can look at that um, in between cuttings. I'm going to turn this around. The other reason why I really like this night mower is because it's got a really tight cutting radius, or, or turning radius, I'm sorry. So it's almost like a zero steer, or zero turn, whatever they call it. But it's not. <laughs> and you know what? I think I have... I missed a little spot right here. I'm one of those perfectionists. I like have to go back and like, oh no, you damaged the ground, fine incurred. That's one thing. If you're going too fast and you turn, you can't actually damage the ground like we did right there. You can see the little kind of ruts on the ground there. Now again, it's not gonna be hugely significant Oop, there's a blade of grass right there. Not anymore. The fines aren't significant, so it's not going to ruin your day. But, you know, try to avoid them. I mean, this is a game that you can just really relax and chill out with. It's one of the things I really like about this game. It's just really chill. See, look how, look how tightly we can turn onto that path. It's just really a nice, tight turning mower. You can also see up at the top there, we're 92.7% finished. Okay, let's uh, cut in here. Straight in, straight back out. You just take it nice and slow, and you're not going to have any problems. There we go. turn around but I don't want to go top speed there we 
go. So what do you think of my lawn mowing strategy? Would you have cut it differently? Let me know in the comments section because I want to hear from you guys about what you think. There's probably going to be some pro uh, lawn mower or lawn cutter guys out there. I want to hear from you. I think I'm doing a pretty good job though. Uh, there is weather in this game. Um, I did have one lawn mowing job where I had to mow the lawn in the rain. Um, when you're doing that, you definitely have to be careful that you're, you know, you don't bog down the, the blades. Um, also, you might have just noticed up at the top right, there was a message saying that I was finished. But, hey, I'm a perfectionist. I want to get everything done. And we'll go ahead and disengage the blades and raise our deck. And now all we have to do is go back and reverse onto the trailer. But look at these. It's got some pretty nice graphics. I'm going like all out full speed here. And there we go. There is our beautiful first lawn all finished. See, <laughs> even the cow agreed. All right, so. So now we get the uh, five pound, two, what is it? Is it, I guess it's cents. Is it cents in the UK? I'm gonna say five pound, two cents for the, um, the ground check time bonus. Um, so the faster you do it, you get a little bit more money. Uh, the ground check earnings is twenty dollars. So just for going out and checking that ground, you get an extra, you know, twenty five oh two. Um, cutting time. Oh, there's a cutting time bonus. So I guess if you come in below that, you do earn a little bit of extra money. I'm sorry. Um, and then valuables recovered. Uh, um, penalties and fines. We did incur a three dollar fine for a collision and eight cents for ground damage. So that earns us a total of $345.82. No, I'm sorry, 345 pounds, 82 cents. All right, so now you're gonna see here where it says upgrade here at the bottom left. Um, there's no upgrades that we can do. Now for $1,500, it is going to unlock an additional garage. Now, as soon as you get to $1,500, you want to unlock that immediately. Um, you can also upgrade to the different, um, I don't think, no, we can't actually look at them yet. But uh, we start off with this red wall building, um, which you can upgrade to have two garages. Then you'll want to go to Whitehall House and so on and so forth. Um, there's not a tremendous um, price difference between upgrading to the, the, the bigger buildings, but you can do that. Um, you can also advertise uh, to get more business. This will come into play later. And you can also go back and edit your company. Here at the top, we're on our HQ screen. If we hit the right bumper, we go to our map. Right bumper again is going to go to the shop where we can purchase uh, new tractors that we're eligible for. I kind of want this one, but I kind of don't at the same time. <laughs> um, lots of Toros are, are available. Now, one of the questions I know I'm going to get a lot of right off the bat is, is there going to be mod support? Um, off the start, no, but the developer has said that they are considering uh, opening that up at a later date. So all I can tell you is to stay tuned and keep your fingers crossed. So I just clicked on the tractor there, um, and we're going to go into the maintenance screen. So we're going to do some vehicle repairs. We're just going to fully repair it. The engine, we didn't suffer any engine damage, so no need to repair that. Uh, always want to rep repair your blades. It's only going to cost us £2.75, and then fill up your tank. Um, 
Some of the tractors you can add attachments to. That's what the attachments tab is there for. Statistics, you can see distance driven, um, grass cut, grass volume, um, money earned, average earnings per contract, uh, maintenance costs, and so on. So uh, it's kind of nice to have those numbers to look at. And then obviously you can sell the vehicle. Um, since it's our only one, we can't sell it. And then part exchange vehicle. Um, not exactly sure what that is, to be honest. And then you can also take out loans. So if we wanted to take out a loan, um, we can say, you know, how much we want a loan for. And uh, we will actually have to rank up in order to... Um, to get those like this one we can't even get because we're not high enough rank but once we get that we can obviously take out a loan if we want but you know me if well maybe you're new to the channel you don't um i don't like to do loans not even in farming simulator <laughs> and if i don't absolutely have to all right so let's start on this new a new job. Uh, we've got a much larger lawn now. Uh, this is going to take a little bit longer to cut. But it's really nice. And you can actually see one of the things while the camera's panning around the yard, look out for those little items that you need to pick up out of the lawn so you kind of know where to go to get them as quickly as possible and maximize your yeah, we definitely don't want to run over lawn shears. Uh, maximize your um, your your time bonus. Boom, boom, and we got we got one more. One more thing to find. Uh oh. Thought we would have found it by now. Oh, there it is. Boom. Some dog poop. All right. Push right on the D-pad to throttle up. I'm going to go ahead and lower the deck right here. And when we get out onto the lawn, we're going to start cutting. This is just such a relaxing game. Like, I almost want to just sit back and not say anything. <laughs> and just cut grass. Now I am going full speed right now and we're not bogging down in the grass but I can tell you once we get into the, the thicker grass it is going to bog down from time to time. Oh wait a second. Okay six to seven centimeters. Thank gosh I forgot to set my deck height um, but luckily the default is seven centimeters and we can go full out um, at seven centimeters. I don't think there's any, you know, bonuses for cutting it shorter or anything like that. You just have to cut it.
I think there was like a little, where was it? I thought I saw a little tuft of grass sticking out back there that I missed. Oh gosh. I'm just gonna cut a, straight across here. Like we missed a couple blades there. You guys getting dizzy yet? <laughs> Another thing, when you're driving across certain surfaces, now we have this rock path here on our right. Um, I'm not sure, I've not experienced it on this particular path, but there, there's, another, <clears throat> there's another job where there's kind of like these large areas of gravel, like a driveway that you have to drive across, and you will actually pick up damage from driving across that with your blades going. So, something to be aware of as far as that goes. Cut this really tight here. So we're already almost 30% complete. <clears throat> now some of the uh, some of the jobs coming later are going to be much longer. Um, there's some apple orchards and things like that that are pretty darn big, and you would not want to mow them with this field or this mower. Though there might be one that we'll do with this mower, just to kind of get the money from it. Um, and it took me, a, I think, about an hour to do that job. So um, probably here in a few episodes. I'm not sure how many in will be when we get to that one. But um, I'll definitely pick that one up for the money. 
because we're going to want to expand our garage first. And then buy a, you know, a second or hire a, a, a worker to help us out. And we'll need a second mower in order to do that. So um, that's my current strategy because that's going to earn us more money more quickly. Ah, just damage the lawn again. There goes a few cents, I guess. Oh, I thought I missed a little bit there. I did not. Oh, did miss some right there, though. See, look how tight this mower turns. Really nice. I remember my old Toro tractor, you know, it was just a four wheel and it wasn't like a zero turn or anything like that. I don't even know if they had zero turns back in those days. Um, they might have, I don't know. I don't really know too much about lawn mowers or things like that. So, um, but, um, you know, it had a, you know, four tires, drove like a car, kind of. Um, there, it had a pedal for brakes. I think the right pedal, the right foot, foot pedal was the brake. And then there was basically just a lever. You pushed it forward to, oh no, I destroyed a flower. Whoops. Well, that's what happens when you destroy a flower. Um, yeah, you just pushed the lever forward to go forward. You pulled it back to go back and, um, I mean, if, if the grass was really wet, um, I mean, you could sit there, go full speed forward, and then just, like, hit that thing in reverse, and the tires would spin out on the grass. <laughs> My mom would, like, kill me um, for doing that, but it was fun, because you could, like, you know, do peel outs and stuff like that. <laughs> But if the grass was wet, it didn't really, you know, damage too much. But I always did earn high praise for cutting the grass for my mom, my mom, so that's good. And my dad, too, I guess. One thing I would like to see in this game is actually push mowers um, and like weed eaters for doing trim. Because sometimes it's really tough to get a tractor into the little nooks and crannies that you need to get into in order to get some of the trim done. As a matter of fact, uh, some of the yards later on um, you'll actually get a message, especially if you're using a larger tractor, that, hey, you know, this tractor's larger than the recommended size tractor for this lawn. Do you want to continue? Now, you can continue, but, you know, that's probably telling me that down the line somewhere, you know, that, that could potentially be an issue. And if we run into that issue, we'll uh, address it here in a future episode for you guys. Now I am playing this on, on a PC. Um, if you guys want to know the specs for my PC, it is down in the video description. 
but I'm running a fairly high-end um, PC. I'm running an Intel i9 uh, 10900K. Uh, I've got 64 gigabytes of RAM, and mainly I have that because of you know doing videos and video processing and stuff. Um, I'm running it on a two terabyte Samsung solid state drive. That's a M.2 NVMe drive, and I'd say the worst piece of my equipment, which still does great for all my games is my older uh, NVIDIA GTX 1080. So I am running a bit older of a video card, but it's a very high-end card. It's going to handle this game like just fine. So I'm not worried about that at all. I think we're going to have to cut around this island here pretty soon. We'll do that on the next pass around. Actually, I'll tell you what I'll do here. I'll go back around this way. And then we'll just do the trim around here. Try not to destroy any flowers again. I think the flowers are only a few cents as well, like maybe 30 cents or something like that. So again, it's not gonna, you know, making mistakes isn't gonna break the bank, but you know, probably don't wanna do that. You wouldn't wanna do that in the real world, that's for sure. You don't want upset clients for destroying flower beds and things like that, so. So I'm just gonna go straight there. We're gonna back up. This game, I think, would be absolutely perfect for, for virtual reality. For like an Oculus or whatever type of headset you, you want to use uh, with it. But yeah, I think this game would be amazing in VR. I don't think that there's any plans for a VR version of this game, but... Oh. It would be so amazing in VR. Though, now that I think about it, all this turning might might be a bit vomit-inducing. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. Let me know what you think. Would this game be awesome in VR? I think I would definitely give it a try in VR. Absolutely. Okay, I want to run back up. Eh.
Okay. I'm gonna go around and do the trim here. We're almost done, 91.5%. Speed here. I always try to do the longest cuts I can in one direction, generally. Okay, I'm just gonna back up here. I'm gonna cut this. Continue back up the line. Now I am going to be doing a series on this game, so definitely stay tuned. Um, hopefully you'll enjoy it. Um, and we're just going to go until I kind of figure out a logical ending point. Um, the game's pretty open-ended though. It doesn't have like a, you know, a point where you win the game or anything like that as most simulators do. Um, so again, you know, I don't know how many episodes it'll run. 20, maybe 30 episodes. Maybe more, maybe less, I don't know. All right, so cutting is complete. However, I still have a little bit left to do here. And now we're complete. We're gonna go top speed here. And that's going to be it for this episode. We're going to take a look at our uh, statistics, see how much money we have, and then maybe take a look at the upcoming jobs that we'll get to do for the next episode. Boom. Yay, Kingsbury House. Awesome. I really like this game. I, I was really surprised. Let's see here. Penalties and fines. We Oh, a dollar to dis for destroying the flower and four cents for the... Ground damage fee, uh, almost six euros for our, or pounds for the uh, ground check time bonus. Twenty bucks cutting time bonus, eight seventy five for a total of three hundred fifty eight. So we're back up over a thousand pounds. And newcomer rank two level unlocked. Amateur challenge number one. Now I don't know, I don't know exactly how to do these challenges. I'll have to figure out newcomer rank three payment. Okay, so I have to go. Okay, so I'm newcomer rank two. So to get $2,500, we have to get up to rank three. Okay, well, that'll probably be in our next job. So now we've got three different jobs. We've got one paying 580, one paying 505. Ooh, that's a big job for that mower. And one for 690. Ooh, that one's going to be. Which one is that? Oh, okay. I remember that one. Oh, that one's scary. Um, I might actually do this one next because that one is going to be the one that allows us to unlock the next part of the garage. Now I would do this one, but the grass on this one is really thick 
and we have to go really, really slow. So, um, well, I'll make a decision in the next episode. So in the meantime, thank you so much for uh, hanging out with me, playing Lawn Mowing Simulator. I really love this game. Um, the uh, link to the Steam version for PC is going to be down in the video description. But uh, for consoles, check your console store. I'll try to get some more information as far as which consoles it's coming out for in the coming days. And uh, I'll post that to, or I'll talk about that in a future video. But um, again, don't forget to like, share, please comment. Let me know what you think of the game. And if you haven't done so, please subscribe for this and many more videos. Lawn Mowing Simulator, guys. I'm Brad M73. Thanks again for watching and bye for now.